Why doesn't the titanium stack? I wish it stacked on uh, on one another. Oh fuck, man! What the hell? Yo, that thing is so deceptive. It Jesus Christ! All right, guys, welcome back to another episode of Subnautica. Um, so where we left off in 20 minutes, approximately 20 minutes, we gotta go over to um, that location over there, about a thousand meters out. And we're going to be laying eyes on the Sunbeam for the first time. I'm really curious about what that's all about. I have a sneaky suspicion the Sunbeam is not going to make it. Okay, something is going to shoot it out of the sky. And we're going to have front row seats to that. That's what I think. Okay, but before we do that, I do want to... Um, <clears throat> there's a couple things I want to do. First, let's pull up our PDA. What, what is this? I didn't look at this last time. Sample analyzer, non-functional laboratory equipment. I don't have no idea what that is. I don't know if I should save it or throw it away. Um, I'm sure it's used for something, so I'm, I'm going to store. I'm going to keep it. I need to really clean out my inventory, take some time to do that. But what I wanted to look at were my blueprints. And if I scroll down, let's see. I think I unlocked a blueprint that will allow me to... Let's see. I'm looking for it, looking for it right here. The mobile vehicle bay. I need to make that because in order for me to craft the Seamoth, I need to make the mobile vehicle bay um, first. So for that, I'm going to need lubricant and titanium ingot. The good news is I should have some ingot. Oh, I'm sorry. I re Listen, people have been telling me my pronunciation of ingot is incorrect. Um, I don't know where I learned how to pronounce the word. I think I probably just read it for myself. I mean, it's spelled I-N-G-O-T, which, you know, you would think is ingot, but apparently it's ingot. So I'm going to try my best to say ingot from now on, but uh, I might slip up and forget, so forgive me for that. Ingot. So we need one titanium ingot, a lubricant, and a power cell, which I have already. Let's go in here real quick. I should have some ingot in here. I do. And I got lubricant, so it looks like I have everything I need. Awesome. This is going to be really good, because if I can get my hands on the Seamoth before I go over um, to the Sunbeam, that would be really, really um, helpful. So what do I do? Uh, fabricates vehicles from raw materials. So I'm guessing I'm just going to like drop it, release vehicle bay? What, like, just anywhere? How do I do that? Um, drop. Or I don't drop it, right? Do I have to? I think maybe I have to put it on my uh, my bar, my action bar, or the key, uh, key bind it. So let's try that. See what happens now. Do I just let it go? It's going up. I thought it was going to go down. It's going up. Okay. So what now? I mean, not like I can. Okay, that's to pack it up. Oh, you can you can climb on top of it and. Uh, use it let's see oh this is exciting what okay i need another power cell glass and lubricant i've got lubricant got plenty of that i need to make a power cell and some more glass which should be like four quarts or something like that so let's go ahead and craft that i think i'll be able to craft that in time um let's leave what did i do did i okay let's leave that but we are quickly running out of time let's check this uh Fuck. okay that was not too bad in terms of damage, but I lost track of the, uh, I lost the, um, the, the limestone. Oh, here it is. Oh, it's copper. Okay. So we're good on that. I think we're good in copper now. Let's just grab some of the, a couple of these just to be sure. And let's go. Cause I, I don't like what I'm hearing right now. Okay. The flashlight does not work very well right here. What am I looking? Oh, that's not, that's not the, that's not the, uh, pod. All right, let's go. So what I'm going to do, I'm really hoping that um, I can make a power cell using my 1% battery. <laughs> and then I can make another battery for the um, for the Sea Glide. Okay, let's turn that off. And let's see, I need to make a battery um, real quick. Let's craft one. Okay, it says now I can actually craft a battery cell. Let's do that. A power cell. Okay, we got that. Now let's craft another battery, and we should be able to use that. And our um, what else can I craft here? 
Can I craft? I can't craft food because I dropped that fish. Anything else I can craft right now? It doesn't look like I need anything else at the moment. So we're just going to leave it at that. And we're going to switch this out. Using... Uh, here we go. Oops, wrong way. Why can't it? There we go. We're going to switch that out. Boom. Perfect. I don't really want to throw away the old battery because apparently I can just turn it into a power cell. Um, that's good to know. Now we can actually make a Seamoth. And I'm excited about that. Where is um, where's the vehicle bay? It is so dark, man. I can't see anything. Where's the bay? There it is. It is so dark. I feel like I want to... Is it? Is it me? Or is it just like unnaturally... It's like darker than usual. You know what it might be? I forgot to mention this. So a couple people brought it to my attention that like the... Um, my graphics or whatever has seemed really bleached. And I actually figured out why. It was in my OBS settings. I fixed it. So I think the game is maybe a little darker than I'm used to. Because right now it is so dark and I'm not used to... Uh, I'm not used to- I'm not used to the game being this dark. Let's see, okay, we got the sea mod. Is a fast, safe mode of transport, but remember that swimming is good for your glutes and endorphin levels. What's happening? Oh, there it- oh, that was- okay. It's- it's ready. It is ready. How do I- Welcome aboard, Captain. Fascinating. Oh, this is so cool. And it's pretty fast as well. Oh, this feels so good. I like this. I like this a lot, bro. Look at us, man. We're booming right now. Oh, shit. Yo, this is cool. This is really cool. I like this. I like this a lot. So here's what I'm thinking. How do I get out of it? Okay, I gotta exit by pressing E. Okay, so I'm gonna leave that there. Can I just leave it there? Like, is it gonna... Do I need to turn off the lights or anything like that? Those things are, like, super loud all of a sudden. Okay, um, I'm thinking that I need to maybe worry about food real quick before it gets too late. So I'm gonna grab a couple of these guys. Which, for some reason... I don't think I can grab these guys. Yeah, it's not giving me an option to. Strange. I'm gonna grab that guy. And we got another boomerang right here. Thank you. Let's pop out our glider here. I want to make sure that we are good on food before we go out to the uh, sunbeam. And that's including... Where is he? This guy right here. Oh my gosh. I'm going too fast. Got him. Got you. We are hunting right now for some fish. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, sir. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Anyone else? Anyone else volunteers as tribute? Turn off my flashlight before I burn my battery. I'm already on 94%. Anyone else volunteers as tribute? Nobody? Nobody? I'm really looking for more bladder fish right there. Got you. And um, you as well. I'm going to pick up an extra bladder fish because there's something I want to um, test out as well. Something I want to figure out in this video. Apparently you can combine them with... I saw this in the comments section, but you can combine them with titanium. Uh, I'm not sure how I'm going to do that, but um, I'm, I'm kind of curious about that. I want to see what happens if I do. I might not to be able to do it at the moment. I think I dropped all my titanium, didn't I? I got a few. I got a few. Okay, let's, um, let's go back up here. Do I have a message? I don't, oh, I do. This is Officer Keen in Light Pod 19. The captain is gone. I have assumed command. The last thing the captain did was give me coordinates for dry land. We regroup one and a half kilometers southwest of the crash site. Stay together and good luck. This message will now repeat. Rendezvous coordinates corrupted. Transmission origin coordinates downloaded. Signal location uploaded to PDA. Okay, so we got another pod, it looks like. Intake recommended. Yeah, I need to, um... Okay, so what was that? I didn't really get a chance to listen to it properly. Um, but let me, before I do that... So what can I do, like... 
I don't see a recipe or anything where I can combine titanium with the bladderfish. So maybe that was not true, or maybe I misunderstood, but we're not going to, um, actually, what was this down here? Yeah, we're not going to focus on it too much. I'll figure it out later. Oh, here, air bladder. Emergency flotation device, chemical reaction produces lighter than air gas for fast personal buoyancy. Okay. Oh, with the silicone rubber, not with, um, not with titanium. I'm kind of curious to try that out. So apparently that'll help me get to the surface faster when I go down into those caves because I am, I am a mess when I go diving. I died like three times in the last video when I'm, di when I was diving in that cave. Because eat all of this stuff here. Um, let's just top all the way off. I need, I need to carry a med kit. I need to start crafting med kits as well for myself. This right here, I'm going to go ahead and, um, I'm going to go ahead and store this. If there's space. Yeah, I got some room in there. Uh, that'll be good. What about, let me think, let me think. What could I possibly be? Let me grab this real quick. Okay, let's take a look at the, um, that voice log. I didn't really understand. This is Officer Keen in Lightpod 19. The captain is gone. I have assumed command. The last thing the captain did was give me coordinates for dry land. We regroup one and a half kilometers southwest of the crash site. Stay together and good luck. This message will now repeat. Rendezvous coordinates so, corrupted. Transmission origin coord. So is that saying that there is um it says that there's dry land? Like is there is there an island or dry land in general in this game? I mean, according to this voice log, the answer to that is yes, there is dry land. I don't really I don't know if that's true or not. That's crazy. That's actually, let me go up for a second. It's not like I can see dry land from here, but I'm looking around, man. There's just nothing but water for days. No shot there's actually dry land. Nah, that's just a, that's gotta be a misdirect. There's no way. There's no way. I'll, uh, I'll believe it when I see it, you know? I kind of want to, like, hold up. I kind of want to look around a little bit. I've never been over here before. Can I skim the, whoa. Hold up, <laughs> hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. Hold up. Where am I going right now? Okay, I'm going to the Sunbeam landing site. Detecting massive energy signature in the region. Cannot identify. Yo, what? I should probably, bro, I'm going to save the game real quick. Because who knows what kind of fuck shit is about to happen. I did not expect to see a freaking, like, dry land over here. I did not expect to see this at all. How much further do I have? I got 100, I got 150 meters. I think I have a little bit of time. No way. Dude, I'm walking on land right now. Oh, fuck! No! What the hell? Yo! Yo, it's, it came into the water with me, bro. Back up! Oh, shit. Yo, it really came into the water with me. Bruh. Oh, the crash site is on land. Okay. Should I... What are you? Okay, I feel a little... Like I, like I left my sea moth behind. Um, wow, this looks incredible, man. Like, this looks really awesome. I have a feeling there's like a fucking... I just saw a crab try to uh, bite my ankles off, but... I feel like there's um, some other fuck shit going on. What is that? Okay, I am so confused right now. I thought this planet was all water. Okay, wait. I'm a little... Where is the, um... The crash site? Right here. Okay. Right here. Like, I'm standing on it. This is where I'm supposed to go. Right? That's what it said. Where's the, um... Maybe if I walk out a little bit further. I need to see it again. Because it was a little hard to see. Sunbeam landing site. 60 meters. Yeah, right here. What is going on? That is nuts. So, yeah, is there, like, was there life on this planet? Like, you know, intelligent life? You know what I mean? Like, not humans, per se, but humans? Because huh? that looks like something, I don't, like, I can't imagine the fucking, uh, the stalker fish and a crab snakes building that, obviously, you know what I mean? I don't know what else is in this game, but, um, clearly, that is, that is not what I expected at all. Not even close. What is that? Can I scan it? 
That's what I should probably be doing right now, is scanning everything. I want to read up, read up on this thing. Purple tablet. Um, this carbon-based device is lighter than it looks and it features a symbol which resembles a U, lit up in purple. Despite the onboard power still functioning, algae growth on the exterior indicates it was abandoned hundreds, perhaps thousands of years ago. While the technology is far beyond Federation levels and there is no obvious way to interface with it, it should nonetheless be possible to fabricate a precise physical copy of the device if necessary. So we're saying that this tablet here is a piece of technology that could have, based on the algae on it, is maybe hundreds or thousands of years old. And this technology is more advanced than, than what? Than the Federation's technology? And we are the Federation, so and we're pretty advanced, if I do say so myself. We're pretty advanced. For what? Insert tablet. So I need to... Okay, I think I can actually... It should be a blueprint now, right? Maybe I can now, like, actually... I can craft a tablet. Okay. Can I, like, un... I need to unpin some of these things here. Um, Just to take them off. They're kind of, I'm kind of getting cluttered over there. Let me go ahead and unpin all and then pin that again. So I can see what it takes to make it. Can I pin it? It's pinned. But I don't see it. Oh, well, anyway, I need an ion cube and two diamonds. I I don't know how to find an ion cube. It's green, so I'm guessing I could... That scared me. Force shield control. Force field control. Um, I mean, that's pretty self-explanatory, right? The technology is far beyond anything encountered before by the Federation. Nonetheless, there is a good chance it functions like a regular lock. It only requires a correct kind of key. That is insane. So this is alien technology. Like alien to... I mean, this is an alien planet, and this is alien technology. Things just got really fucking... Things just got a whole lot deeper. I cannot believe I'm running on land right now. I thought this whole game was going to be underwater. I never, I never expected to actually, like, come on shore. Can I... I mean, are these things, like, useful? Like this tree right here. Can I use it for something? Edible high water content. Okay, that's all I need to know. All I need to do is look at the bottom. Is there a way to... Uh, oh, look. This right here. I can't scan it. Maybe it's just like... Uh, I don't know. Decoration or some shit like that. Let me scan myself real quick. Because I've died a few times and apparently... Self-scan complete. Foreign bacteria count has reached statistically significant levels. No adverse effects detected. Be vigilant for symptoms. Um, what? So I've got high levels of ba Oh shit. It's happening. It's happening. Take my knife out. Something is happening. So now I'm even more convinced that the sunbeam is gonna... I bet you that there's some, like... I don't know, like, anti-aircraft technology. Yup. Look at it. There it goes. That's a huge fucking gun. I didn't even, like, realize it until now. Oh no. It's happening. Survivor, we see you. Where, and where I are you? How you held out down there? We broke an atmosphere and we're descending towards the landing. Ah, uh, don't do it! Don't do it, bro. Is that a building down there? What do you mean you can't identify it? Oh, there it is! No. Ah, uh, this is gonna don't like. This is sad. Positions, everyone. I'm touching down at ten. And they're coming for me, man. Oh fuck! It's like auto locking on it. It's coming from the building. Change course. Set thrusters to full. No. Uh, no fucking way. Oh man, that is that's actually kind of fucked. That's that just made me sad. That made me really sad. I didn't even know those guys, but they were coming to get me. Aw. That is so heartbreaking, you piece of shit. So that's what's been shooting down the, um... The ships. Okay, I know this is like... I know I should be, like, mourning the sunbeam right now, but... Does that mean there's, like, a lot more loot over there now? That I can go collect? Maybe I should go check it out. It's moving again. I was wondering if it was gonna move back into position. Aw, oh, man, that is so... That's fucked up. 
I mean, it's also kind of like low-key cool as fuck, you know what I mean? So if that is not a building, that's a, just a like a giant gun, then like where are the... Like what is it protecting? Is there like a civilization of like aliens, people underwater? Okay, I think that's it. Oh my gosh, man, that is so sad. So I need to make a purple tablet, that way I can like go over there. That just, that was really sad. But now I feel like, oh look, we got stuff to scan. Cyclops engine fragment. Okay. I feel like there is more over here. I don't really feel comfortable over here, to be honest. Something about... Yeah, fuck this. There's something about this little area seems really, like, freaky. Like, that right there is deep. I'm not sure if I even want to be over here right now. Something about this area feels really weird. I'm just gonna... I'm gonna hop in my CMOS. And, um, I guess what I'm gonna do now, and then maybe that'll be... Um, where am I going? The beacon. So, I got a radio transmission that's gonna take me to... Okay, we've already been here, 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 blah, 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 blah. Okay, the uh, life pod 19. 300 meters, that's pretty deep. Can we do it? That's pretty deep. So let's uh, let's make our way over to uh, life pod 19, see what we can find. I'm gonna actually maybe go back to um, life the life pod real quick and make another oxygen tank if I can. I think I can. I have everything I need. Maybe not. I don't really know. But I should probably craft another tank before I go over there. So I'm going to pin this as well. Actually, I'm going to unpin this. I don't really need that right now. We're going to focus on uh, making another another tank. Um, and to do that, I need to make this first. So what else do I need? Do I have what's what do I have in my inventory? Nothing because I, I left everything back at the pod. So let's focus on this real quick. I think I have silver. I don't have to worry about that. I've got titanium. I think in total I need four plus four. It's eight titanium total. And I'm gonna need about um I think four quartz. And that's pretty relatively simple. Why is it so dark? I don't remember the game being so dark. It must be my settings. Let me turn on my... Or is it nighttime? I think it might be nighttime. I don't feel comfortable over here at all, man. I need to get back to the pod. Everything just feels really creepy all of a sudden. That whole area by the... um, By the... Where the sunbeam, that whole like the dry land area, that whole area just seemed so fucking creepy. The water especially looked really deep. I'm probably, I don't know if there's anything down there, but I'm probably going to have to uh, go investigate that area at some point. Okay, so we're not, oh, we're really far away from uh, Life Pod 19. Let's go here real quick. And um, let's see what we have, what we need. Um, I was going to craft, that's right, I need titanium. We got three right here, that's good. I'm going to need some more. We only have one quartz. Um, da -da -da. that's okay. Let's go ahead and make this first. And then we can go from there. Right? Because then we can unpin it and then go from there. Um, let's unpin it real quick. So we can stay a little organized and not get confused. Because I'm easily confused. Okay, so now I need glass, which I no longer have. But I have this right here. I've got silver. So I need some more quartz. Yeah, I'm going to need some more quartz. How many quartz do I need to make one glass? I think two. Yeah, I need one more to make one. So I need like three in total. I need to go find three of those. And then some more titanium and we should be good. Oops, I didn't mean to do that. I did not mean to do that. Let's go ahead and unpin that real quick. Uh, it should be up here. Yeah, we don't need to do that. We just need some quartz and some titanium. All right, let's, um, let's find some quartz down here. There were some in the uh, in the cave. Now let's do this. Just pull out our uh, flashlight. I think is all we need right now. And um, where is that cave? Where is that cave? I'm gonna grab you while I can. Here we go. There should be some titanium down here. Oh god. Okay. All right. Okay. We're not gonna mess with those guys. 
Yeah, that hurt. <laughs> that hurt a lot. Um, fuck, you know what? Oh, I can't see anything. Grab that. I am not gonna survive in here. I need to be more careful. I need one more. Doing this at night is so difficult. Um, but it's better off this way because those things are so fast. Forgot how fast they were. I just have to be careful. I'm sure I can find another quartz in here somewhere. I just need one more quartz. And then for titanium, I'll just have to find like some scrap or something like that. Come on, there's at least, there's gotta be at least one more. Let me go back in. I went through that pretty quickly, so it's definitely uh, plausible that I just completely missed one somewhere and I don't see anything just yet. No, nothing on the walls. I heard something. Let's see, I got some limestone. Is that limestone? What is that? Oh, fuck. I didn't. Re I thought that was a rock. <laughs> I thought that was a rock. I was like, I, I thought I heard one, but I didn't. it didn't come after me. Okay, I should probably 30 seconds. get some air real quick. Now that the game is so much darker, I'm, um, and again, I think because I, like, fixed my settings, the game is so much darker, it's actually a little bit, a lot, I mean, not a little bit, it's a lot creepier. Now I'm actually kind of getting scared. And I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm not gonna lie, going over to, uh, Life Pod 13 or 19 over there, that's, like, 1,200 meters out. I'm really, really worried about that. I'm not sure if that's a good idea. Okay, I got this little area here. Um, to be on- oh. Scan that real quick. Where is it? What can I scan it? It is so dark, man. I can't see anything. I can't see anything. I feel like I'm gonna have to come back to this area. I didn't want to really waste too much time over here. I was looking for scraps, is what I was looking for. Because I need it for the, um, titanium. Right? So I was looking for scraps. And... I'm not seeing scraps. I mean, I think I just might be... There we go. How many do I need? Maybe a couple more? There should be... Like one or two more over here, right? Because I need... Let's see, I need... Four. And I don't really remember... The scrap, how many that yields. I think it yields... It definitely yields more than one. So maybe two. Minimum of two. So I think I'm good. I think I have what I need. Where's um, where's the uh, pod? Okay. So now I should have... Yeah. I think I have everything I need to make another uh, air tank. And then I'll feel a little bit more comfortable going over to this uh, this pod. Because I don't want to... I don't want to keep dying. Because apparently, when I self-scan myself, um, it seemed like... Look, if I take out my scanner again... Correct me if I'm wrong. But, um, oh, it's not going to tell me now, but apparently it told me that I have, like, high levels of bacteria in my body or whatever, and I have a feeling that's because I've, um, maybe died <laughs> one too many times. So I guess, do you get sick the more you die? That's what I'm wondering now. Playing partially translated broadcast. Nine new biological subjects designated. Mode. Hunting, analyzing, sharing subject locations with other agents. Um, I'm sorry. What the f what the fuck was that? Okay, <laughs> yo, what? Okay, let's uh, maybe I misheard that. Maybe uh, playing partially translated broadcast. So that's not the Federation. First off, nine new biological subjects designated. Mode, blah, 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 hunting, analyzing, sharing subject locations with other agents. Oh my gosh. What is this? Oh yeah, this is um, the Sunbeam. That was so, that was so scan uh, sad. Okay, so are we being hunted right now? This thing, whatever it is, it's translated, so it's not like it's speaking English, but who cares? It's like clearly intelligent and it's... It's informing its friends that there are some aliens on the planet and it's going to come fucking hunt us and fuck us up. So I'm a little bit nervous all of a sudden. 
I'll grab another one of those. Let me pop one because now all of a sudden I'm like ultra scared. Like I'm I, I'm actually getting kind of worried. I feel like this is going to be really worth it making this um, second tank. Which I can do now. Right, that way I can like swap it out when I'm, you know, dive in a cave or whatever. I can just swap it out um, as I need to. Instead of having to like come back up for air all the time. Okay. I feel ready. I feel like I'm good. Guys, this is- I really- I don't know if I actually want to go over here. This is fucking scary. Oh my gosh. This game, I feel like, took a turn. You know what I mean? It was like- it was all sweet and, um, fucking cute for the first couple hours. But I feel like we've definitely taken a turn right now. Oh my gosh. I don't know what that was, but it did a lot of damage. Oh, Jesus Christ. Where are we right now? Yo, like, come on, man. This is not, this is not cool. <laughs> How deep can you go in this game, I wonder? This is 300 meters. This is the, probably the deepest I've been. I think, um, I think I've been down 200. Warning. That cave. Maximum depth reached. Hull damage imminent. Oh, shit. No way. So, what does that mean? Let me go a little bit over here. Keep it, like, right here. I feel like the purpose of the Seamoth at this point is to, um, if I need to come up for air, um, I can do that without going to the surface, you know what I mean? I just hope nothing, I just hope nothing, like, messes with it. Fuck it, you know what, I wanna, that stuff, I'm gonna come back for that stuff, for sure, but I do need to see what's down here. I do need to see what's down here. And I am, oh gosh, I can't see anything. I don't know if there's anything like... I'm so scared right now, man. I mean, so far, everything seems cool, right? Let me just grab what I can grab and get out of here. Integrating new PDA data. It is so dark down here. All right, let's get inside. And um, looks like there's a couple things in here, right? What is that? Oh, another PDA. Seems like that's it. There's really nothing else in here. Let me do the uh, the zoomies real quick. Okay, there's lead in here and stuff like that. That's not really too unique, right? Like, I can find lead elsewhere. So no new, like, resources this far down. What was that? Was that regular quartz? Yeah, that was quartz. Um, any, like, anything for me to scan? This stuff right here. Oh, fuck. I'm dying. I'm dying, I'm dying, I'm dying. Um, here, I do want to scan that. I think it, I don't know if that's what actually damaged me, but I'm going to switch this out real quick. Uh, swap. Right? Did I do it? No, I didn't do it. There we go. Uh, which one? Wait, hold up. <laughs> <laughs> Which one is full? Dang it. Uh, take that out. No, wrong one. Bro, what is happening right now? Do I have to hold it? Right? Fuck, I think I dropped it. I think I dropped it. Bro, put that there. And... What am I... What's going on right now? Okay, you know what? Fuck it. I think I'm just being, like, stupid. Wait, is that a regular? I thought that was a high, uh... Oh, I didn't have it equipped. Bro, what is going on? I can't be that, like, fucking slow, am I? Is it me? Like, am I tripping right now? Anyway, let's, uh, let's just, uh, I don't know what's, like, damaging me, so let's go back real quick and figure this out. I don't know what's happening with my, um... Okay, yeah, I don't know what's ha I don't know what I did with my oxygen... I'm a little worried. Oh my gosh. I'm good. Yeah, what was that about? What's going on with my uh, my O2? Okay. I don't really... I don't know what I'm doing. Okay, now I can see that it's full. What about this one? It's empty. That This one is empty. So if I just let it replenish, now it's full. Okay. I didn't see that um, green bar before. Maybe it wasn't full? I don't fucking know. We're good now. 
I'm gonna go back down there real quick because I want to scan that um that plant and also kind of double check to make sure there was nothing else. Oh, there's a lot. Wait, what? Hold up, there's kind of, there's more to this place. I don't want to get lost, but I feel like... Yeah, so can I scan this from like over here? What is this? A cave dwelling tuber dotted with luminescent Photosensitive, photosensitive eyes, these eyes may in some way direct the twisted growth of the stems themselves. Possibly in reaction to other light sources, proximity of cave walls, or other environmental conditions. Alright, so that's not what was fucking messing with us a second ago. It must have been the, um... It must have been some... The fish or something like that. Some of them are probably hostile. Um... I can't see a thing, man. What is that? A gel sack? Let's pick one of those up. Check that out. Am I... I can't tell if there is a uh, ceiling over my head. There's not. Okay. Oh, look. Nice. Vehicle upgrade. Okay, let's... um. Yo, no. Wait. I was about to say. Oh my gosh. That was scary. Aurora 1... What? Was that there before? Aurora Rendezvous Point. Welcome aboard, Captain. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Is that the Aurora? Is that the Aurora? Because if that is your Aurora, then I think the, I think we might actually make a little trip right now. What was I doing? I was trying to swap these out so I can um I can charge that up. Yeah, it is so dark right now in the game. Well, that's dry land, so it can't be the Aurora. It doesn't look... Yo, these are... Oh! Ew. Why is it turning red? I feel like it is getting hostile. Should I scan it? Question mark? <laughs> should I scan it? I think we should get as close as we can. With our little scanner. What was that? You saw that shadow, right? Bruh. I'm afraid that there's something in there that's gonna like... Bro, just scan it from here, bruh. Oh my gosh. Ancient floater. I'm scared. Um, the attached landmass is raised in the water, increasing sunlight, encouraging plant growth. As older plants decay, organic residues and nutrients so, uh, seep into the rock and are consumed by the floater. These circumstances must have held for thousands of years for a floater to reach this size. Oh, these are those little, like, uh, pink-purple things that are on the rocks. Okay. Um, a number of floaters may attach to a Leviathan-class life form, forcing it to the surface and effectively asphyxiating it. The body will be consumed over a number of months until eventually dissolving. That is brutal. These creatures, which successfully raise a landmass to the surface, are rewarded with a uh, budgeting, burge, bu oh my gosh, budgeting and permanent food supply, allowing them finally to reproduce and begin um, life cycle assessment. Incredible! Absolutely. I just want to know why it looks fucking like hostile. So it raised. So this is land right here. Let me. Let me why is the game so dark all of a sudden, man? Let me go back over to my. Uh, where's my? Oh, I was about to say. I was about to leave my, uh, I was looking for my Seamoth. I don't want to get too close before I get fucking sucked up. But I feel like there's something here for me to check out. You know what I mean? Like, I can maybe, hold up, maybe I don't want to, I'm curious. I'm curious, I'm curious, I'm curious. I'm curious. You know, this game, survival games are all about curiosity, you know what I mean? And, uh, I just want to, like, take a little little slice. Yeah. That did something. What did I do? What did that give me? Anything. It didn't give me anything, but it cut it. Let me scan it then, if I can. I should be able to, right? If it has a name, then uh, maybe I can scan it. Okay, you know what? The longer I stay here, the fucking more creeped out I get, so... Let's, um, let's 
get back into the safety of our Seamoth real quick, and uh, let's get out of here. Let's go find this um, rendezvous point. Wait, oh, I can, this is land. Oh, shit. Hold up. This is like... Oh, wow. Can I get up there? Can I get up there? Where is the Aurora? Oh, there's the Aurora, and there's my my pod. We are so far away. Um, but I want to I wanna get over there. Looks like it's on the other side. We swim around. <laughs> I guess, I listen, I am not going to go to the Aurora in this video. There's no way. We're just going to go over to this rendezvous point. And I think that might be it for now. I just want to, like, get over here. And then uh, maybe the, in the next episode we can pick up where we, uh, where we leave off. Whatever that may be. Yo, this sea moth is so much fun. But how do I, um, hold up. How do I get up there? Do I have to, I have a feeling that I have to, like, oh my gosh. I was going to say, like, I have a feeling I have to, like, go from below. Like, right here, right? Yeah. Oh, shit. Oh, my gosh. We are fucking, like... This game, man, this game has taken so many turns in one video. I am so... So, like, overwhelmed right now. Um... We are... We're back on land, guys. Alright, I feel like this is a good place to end it for now, and next time we're gonna, like, I guess explore this island area. Picking up multiple energy signatures on the island's surface. That's not good. That's, uh, that's, that's code for you're probably going to be fucked and you should save the game before you go onto this island. Anyway, uh, thanks you guys for watching. Thank you for all the tips. Thank you for engaging with the videos and I really appreciate it. I will see you guys in the next video. Until then, stay blessed. Peace.